Natalie Decker, N-A-T-A-L-I-E-D-E-C-K-E-R. I started racing go-karts when I was nine, and then I just slowly moved up. I only did go-karts for three years, and then I moved up to like a four-cylinder car for one year, and then I moved up into like a super stock. It's just a bigger car, not full size really yet, very like low power, small tires, but I learned how to like drive a car for two years, and then after that I moved into a truck and a big eight car. It's also called a limited late. For two years I did the big eight limited late class, and then one year I did a truck, and now I'm in super late. Before the 2018 season, the only ARCA races I've watched before are either when they either go to Daytona or Talladega. But when I heard Natalie Decker was racing full-time in the ARCA series in 2018, I just knew I had to watch every race this season. So to start things off, I went to RacingReference.com to look up her stats for this video, and was also reading the comments on her page just to see what fans thought of her driving ability. And literally, one of the first comments I read is about how hot she is. Now she is a pretty face, but the real question is, can she race? And oh yes, she can. When she was only six years old, her and her father both stopped by a dirt go-kart track after a business trip and she immediately begged her father for a go-kart. Immediately her potential showed. Decker would go on to win four karting championships in just two years. Then at age 12, she would begin to race four cylinder modified stock cars and in 2011, she moved up to the super stock class where she would go on to win the 2012 class championship at Marshfield Motor Speedway. In 2013, she began racing on the ARCA Midwest Tour where she took home Rookie of the Year honors by having an impressive third place finish in the point standings. Then a couple years later in 2015, she was named to the NASCAR Drive for Diversity program a program that has turned out stars such as Daniel Suarez and Bubba Wallace. She would later attempt to make her Truck Series debut in 2016 at Martinsville, but would fail to qualify. But her biggest announcement was yet to come. After tearing up the short tracks in the Midwest, even scoring the highest finish for a female in the ARCA Midwest Tour, Decker now has her name on the side of an ARCA Racing Series Toyota from one of the most successful teams in the series, Venturini Motorsports. The deal coming together in large part from her supportive sponsor, N29 Capital. Partners. The sponsor goes, well, I want to buy three races with Venturini Motorsports. And I was like, like I, I like didn't even think it was real. I was kind of freaking out inside, but I didn't want to show it. So I was like sitting there like, calm down, Natalie. This is going to be cool. Calm down. She climbs into the car for her first race this weekend at Toledo Speedway. So the pressure was on her immediately because to me, there is literally no excuse not to run good in this situation. I mean, you're not with some field fielder team in the ARCA series, you're with one of the top ARCA series racing teams. And as you'll see in the stats I'm about to read, she proved that she can handle it. So in the seven starts she made in 2017, her stats are this, zero top fives, two top tens, an average finish of 13.1, as well as an average start of 14.1, and only one DNF. So those stats were good enough to land her a ride with the team for the 2018 season. So as of right now, we're two races into the ARCA series season and she's already fourth in the point standings after winning the poll at Daytona and getting her first career top five in the series. And she would also go on to finish 11th at Nashville. So now that we've gone over all of her stats and her um, rise through stock cars, let's go over what I think of her as a driver. So personally, I think she needs two years in ARCA. So 2018 being her first full-time season, and she needs to do one more full season in 2019 before she even thinks about moving into the Truck Series or the Xfinity Series for that matter. Now this is even if she does finish inside the top 10 in points, which I think she will, considering the team she's racing for. So I, I'm not trying to knock on her driving abilities at all or anything. Like I'm not here saying that, oh, she's totally unprepared for NASCAR and stuff, because she clearly has the talent to jump into NASCAR, but I just don't like seeing drivers being rushed into a situation too early. And I really don't think there's going to be any available top rides in any of the series, both trucks and Xfinity, after the 2018 season. I think right now we have too many young guns trying to cut their teeth in both of these series, and I think her best bet is just to wait until 2020 to find a ride then. 
But I might be wrong. I mean, who knows? Maybe she will go out there and win a race this season. Or maybe two of them. But <laughs> I will call this. But if she does, win, a, in fact, win a race this season, then she's guaranteed a Camping World Truck Series ride. I mean, I'm just going to call that right now. But this begs the question in the title, is Natalie Decker the real deal? And to me, she clearly is. So that'll do it for this video. And I also wanted to mention before um, I ended this video that Natalie Decker does in fact have a, a YouTube channel. So her last video was her testing all the way in Indiana at Salem Speedway. Um, so on her channel, she does daily vlogs, I guess. I guess she's making it a, a regular thing now. So I'm going to be leaving links to her Twitter and her YouTube channel below uh, because I want her to see this video. So let's try and get her to see this video and let's try and get her to subscribe. I, that would be really awesome. And if you are in fact watching this, Natalie, thank you so much for uh, watching this video and hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel. So I'm also a huge fan and I'm supporting you 100%. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.